The hunger for gossip and trash and simple answers to tough questions in our culture today is ravenous. And the interest in real truth, hard, difficult, complex truth, has waned. Truth is not about black and white, usually. Sometimes it is. But it's in that gray area where we have special responsibility to move away from ideology, to move back to principles that transcend mere political goals or careerism or our own narrower objectives rather than that of our community, be it a community in a municipality, at the state level in our legislatures, at the national level in the Congress. The other day I was asked in an interview, why hasn't the press been able to topple the government like in Watergate? To which I said, it's not the job of the press to topple governments, it's the job of the press to report on the real existing conditions in a culture, a society, a government, a sports event, not to bring about the desired result of a reporter or a newspaper editor or owner. It's the job of the people, the job of the legislature that they elect to topple the government if that's what is to happen, the job of the larger system, its institutions and the people of the country. Well, the system worked in Watergate, and we can see the contrast today when the system doesn't work. We saw in Watergate democratic principles succeed in a way that reaffirmed our common belief in the idea of a government that serves its citizens, that reaffirmed the rule of law, an example of which perhaps we have not seen so vividly since. And it's particularly easy to see the contrast during the Bush years, because we've seen the opposite of the kind of accountability and the kind of legislative oversight and the kind of assertion of governmental power that holds that the president is not above the law. 